All right, we want to head back to the story we talked about at the top of this broadcast here. It is gaining national attention. A Kentucky ninth grader expelled from her Christian high school after a Facebook picture showing her wearing a rainbow sweater and smiling in front of her rainbow cake for her 15th birthday. Liza Lucas is at the bridge with your social reaction. And Liza, many people say the school went too far, but the school is standing firm in its decision and they have many more examples in which they say this is why they expelled the, the girl here. Yes, basically Whitfield Academy is saying that this was the last straw for the school and they say that the claiming the picture was the latest in a series of quote lifestyle violations. Now it was only a couple of days after Kayla Kinney's mom posted this picture on the Facebook page. They got the email saying that Kayla was expelled from the school. The head of the school saying that the picture demonstrates a posture of morality and cultural acceptance contrary to the school's philosophy. Now in Whitfield's student parent handbook. It does say that it reserves the right to refuse admission or dismiss a student whose conduct outside of school counters their Christian values. But Kayla's mom says their assumptions were made based on Kayla's clothes and based on the cake. But she does acknowledge that Kayla had been on probation for cutting class and getting caught with an e-cigarette. However, she says that she was the one that purchased the cake, not Kayla. So a lot of people have been weighing in in regards to this. There have been more than 500 comments on our page and you can just see the range of them that have been coming in some saying what's the big deal others say that the private school can go by their own rules so let us know what you think use that hashtag morning rush atl but a big conversation a lot of people have feelings about this one that last comment you made from uh one of our folks liza everyone here was was nodding their head I mean, this is a private christian school mm -hmm. right having yeah having gone to a private catholic school for the first part of my education there were rules to follow. As simple as me wearing jeans mm -hmm. and not the required uniform, I was written up. Mm -hmm. But you wearing jeans and being, being posted that on social media becomes a little hairy. You know what I mean? That, that's the part of it that I'm, I'm having a problem with. So yeah. the last straw was a picture that her mom posted. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like she was on probation, she was fine until her mom posted this picture. Yeah. Right. And I, I, I get it, especially at Christian school, mm -hmm. they're worried about influencers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so for mm -hmm. them, the picture is more of an influence on everyone around her than, than just her. So I get it, and they have the right to do whatever they want to do, but a picture, so who, now we're monitoring what you're doing by not social media. Not on school grounds. Right. And right. they're also inferring too. Think about yeah. it. It's not a an LGBTQ sweater. It's literally a rainbow. Yeah. Back in the day, Lisa Frank. Also, you mentioned uh, My Little Pony. Yeah, and Gary those Bears, rainbow yeah. cakes are very popular on Instagram. Uh -huh. So it's very interesting that they're calling this a, a lifestyle. Uh, yeah. 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 And violation. the school, the school, according to the mother, also gave the daughter a book called Gay Girl, Good God. Mm. So everything was inferred to her possibly being gay. Well, let us know what you think. You can join the conversation right now on the Morning Rush Insiders page. That's on Facebook. You'll be able to chat with myself and Sheba, Chesley Crash. All you have to do is search Morning Rush Insiders and send us your requests and we'll approve it. This is definitely a <coughs> sticky situation. Time now, 639. Let's get you.